In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today we're looking at verse, at least the first half of verse 33. Like I said uh, yesterday, we want to just take our time and um, not rush through the events of the Lord's passion because there's so much love and so much learning and so much following that can come out of these verses. So today we're focusing on just this first uh, sentence and or half sentence and when they had come to the place called Calvary. Now this place uh, called Calvary has an actual latitude and longitude. It's a place uh, geographically located in, in Israel. It's, it's a real place. It's a historic place. Um, it's where the Lord was crucified. Um, but it's more than just that place. First of all, it's 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 hard to understand and to it's it's hard to fathom that God became man so he can find himself in this place. He um, did everything to get himself to this place. He says to the disciples several times, the Son of Man must suffer. And even when when Peter, in his zeal, rebukes him and says, you know, there's no way I'm going to let anything happen to you. He tells him, get behind me, Satan, for you you do not know the, the things of the Father. So this is his will, the Father's will, the Holy Spirit's will. This is what he's striving for. This is the enter through the narrow gate. This is the go the extra mile of God. When, when he tells us to, to strive to enter through the narrow gate, it's to arrive to this place. And he strove to enter through the narrow gate. I mean, it's a mystery because being both God and man at the same time, he fulfilled everything that he taught and he is both the gate and the one who strove to enter through the gate god man paradox but beauty the lord jesus christ strives and 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 denies himself and carries his cross to arrive to this to come to this place this place called Calvary. It is not just a geographic place, but it is a place that each and every one of us must find within us. We, we live in a way often where our only and our sole concern is for ourselves. I mean, it's so rampant, this, this attitude of concern for self that anyone that gets in the way of our dreams or anyone that gets in the way of our comfort anyone that gets uh in the way of our our um you know appetite for for fun uh, we we just can't do it when when we have to deny ourselves to serve somebody else we it's so hard when we when we have to deny ourselves to follow god's commandment it's so hard we live We live not in Calgary, but we live in a place, the place of the ego. And we must strive to find the place called Calvary. We ourselves must find this place in our hearts in order to stand in solidarity with the Lord, in order for ourselves to see our God, our God-man, the Lord Jesus Christ, being crucified to stand at his feet and to weep to understand to to fathom to perceive the height and the depth and the width of the love of christ which surpasses all understanding where does that happen at the place called calvary that place within our hearts where we not just perceive the love of god but must follow the love of God must join in the movement of the love of God. We too strive to enter through the narrow gate, to arrive to that place called Calvary, where finally our ego is slain. And and the thing is, we must strive to come to the place of Calgary 
every day, every moment. In fact, we must somehow pitch our tent, make a tabernacle, make the altar at the place called Calvary in order to join St. Paul when he says, you know, for your sake we are slain all day. We strive to live uh, you know, good lives, successful lives, you know, happy lives, living the good life. Well, that can be very much in the opposite direction of the place called Calvary. Having said that, it is not an uh, external only uh, experience, but rather it is an internal experience. It is a place within the heart, within the kingdom of God that we call Calvary. And in that place, we are liberated from our, our desires. The, we're liberated from the misery of our own passions and our own lusts and our own wants. We're liberated and there we stand in solidarity with Christ in a place called Calvary. May today you find this place. May today you make your home in this place. May we stand in awe at the incredible love of our God. Have a beautiful day.